these peanut butter zucchini dog treats are a favorite of mine and my pets. My pets think they're delicious and I love them because they're easy to make and they have just four ingredients. The less ingredients that you use, the better the treats are for dogs with sensitive stomachs or allergies. Um, this recipe does use whole wheat flour, so if your dog has a wheat sensitivity, you can always switch to almond flour, chickpea flour, uh, quinoa flour is a great substitute. So you can switch up the type of flour that you use to meet your dog's nutritional needs. Before you start making the dough for these dog biscuits, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've already done that. Now I'm gonna combine all of my ingredients in a mixing bowl. I have one cup of grated zucchini. You could also use another type of squash if you have another type available. I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have half a cup of creamy peanut butter. You could use crunchy, I just prefer the peanut butter blends a little bit nicer in the dough, so I, I prefer the creamy. And then I have half a cup of whole wheat flour. And now I'm just gonna mix this all together until it is combined well and forms a dry dough. I have my dough made here, and if you wanted to, you could roll it out on a floured surface, and um, you'd roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick and then you would use cookie cutters or um, you could use a, a pizza cutter or a knife to cut it into small squares. Um, I just take about a teaspoon amount on um, at the end of a fork and then I just kind of mush them down into round biscuits. But any way you wanna do it, um, you're gonna push them down, roll them out, whatever, until they're about a quarter to a half an inch thick. You don't want them any more than a half inch thick or they're gonna take um, longer to cook. But you're, once you have them all out on your parchment paper lined cookie sheet, you can throw them in the oven for um, about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll notice them start to kind of crisp up um, after that when they're ready to come out of the oven. And if you want the serving guidelines, the storing guidelines, or um, any of the nutritional information on these cookies, just click the link below this video. That'll take you to my written guide and all of that information is there. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this recipe guide.